Many ancient Egyptian coffins and mummy cases have been discovered coated in a mysterious substance. An example is a mysterious discovery found in the coffin of Jed Honsu F. Ankh, one of the ancient Egyptian priests who served in the temple of Amun at Karnak. The big temple complex of Karnak was the chief religious hub of the god Amun-Re in Thebes during the New Kingdom from 1550 to 1070 BC. It is one of the biggest religious complexes in the world. Amun-Re wasn't the only god that was being worshipped in this temple. The complex was also used for gods Mut and Montu. Stay tuned to the end of this video to learn more about what was found inside this ancient Egyptian coffin in a secret world. Unlike many ancient Egyptian temples that see the light of the present day, the temple of Amun-Re has one of the poorest levels of preservation. Although it is in a poor state, it still has a lot to tell us about ancient Egyptian religion and art. One of the revelations it holds for us lies in the coffin of the ancient Jed Honsu F. Ankh. Jed Honsu F. Ankh, the ancient Egyptian priest, lived and died about 3,000 years ago. He was a priest at the temple of Amun-Re in Karnak, where he served as an opener of the doors of heaven. Wow, this is a great task. Someone who opens the door to heaven. You can imagine how powerful and highly revered that man would be. The priests that served this role were authorized to open the doors that lead to the shrine in the temple sanctuary. Where the image of the god is kept, Jed Honsu F. Ankh died like many other priests who lived before him. After his death, his body was made to go through the usual mummification process, but some unusual things were done to his body after mummification. He was first enrobed in fine linen and placed in a beautiful linen mummy case. The beauty comes from the shining colors used in the decorations of the case and a gold leaf was placed over his face. During his burial, his mummified body was laid in the coffin that was made for his burial and taken to his tomb to be laid to rest. But just like I said earlier, some unusual things were done for the burial of Jed. Just before the coffin was covered with its lid, something strange was done. The strange thing keeps everyone stunned at the discovery of the mummy of Jed, the ancient Egyptian priest. Several gallons of warm black goo was poured on the case of the mummy that was already in the coffin. The entire case was thoroughly covered in this goo that got the mummy stuck to the coffin. After this, the coffin was covered with its lid. The journey to the underworld was believed to begin at this moment. The black goo used in the burial of the body of Jed Hunsu F. Ankh wasn't a common ritual for burials, but sometimes the ancient Egyptians used it for other mummies too. Can we take a look at what this unusual black goo is made from? What's this black goo like and how was it made? The practical aspects of those ancient spiritual preparations for death aren't as much discussed as the theoretical part of them. Access to the know-how of the practices around the mummification and burial of the ancient Egyptians has been greatly restricted, and this makes little information available to the masses. Searching for data online or in libraries to better understand this black goo may not yield the necessary results since those details have continually declined through the years. The best way to understand this is to make the black goo pass through chemical analysis in our present day laboratory. The chemical analysis result showed some amazing things about the goo. It is made of some mixes which include plant oil, animal fat, tree resin, beeswax and bitumen. There were some variations in the components of the goo collected from different coffins but all of them were made from combinations of some of these. How do they get these ingredients and from where? Most of these ingredients aren't indigenous to Egypt meaning that they were imported. Pistachia tree resin and conifer tree resin are the two resins used in the preparation of the black goo. Tree resin, which is the liquid that is produced when a tree is cut, is later going to harden into a brittle solid. Pistachia trees are commonly found around the Mediterranean, from Greece to Western Asia. A pot of resin from pistachia trees was found in the royal city of Egypt in the Ulbarun shipwreck in 1347 to 1332 BC. The ancient Egyptians also used pistachia resin as incense and as a golden varnish on painted coffins. Different trees produce conifer resin, which includes pine, cedar, fir, and juniper. The resins produced from these trees are very difficult to differentiate when they have been there for a long time. Lebanon is one of the countries in which these trees are grown, and these resins were likely imported to Egypt from there and some other areas. Some jars of conifer resin were found in ancient Egypt which tells us that it was commonly imported to Egypt. Crude oil products are generally referred to as bitumen, and both their liquid and solid forms have been in use since ancient Egypt. It is an organic-based product formed from the decomposition of the remains of animals, plants, and single-celled organisms over several millennia. 
The remains of the living things in the black goo were examined, which made it possible to know the places where the bitumen was gotten from, the Dead Sea. Now that you know where the black goo came from, do you wonder why it was used in ancient times? The reason for the use of black goo wasn't known, but the balm used in mummification processes is also gotten from the same ingredients used for black goo. During the various burial processes, like the mummification of the body and the burial, it was poured into the coffin or in mummy cases. The god Osiris, who is related to the dead and the resurrection of dead bodies, was called the Black One in many of the funerary inscriptions found on the coffin or the tomb. Also, it is represented by black skin and the appearance of a mummified body. Clay and wooden seedbeds were made in the shape of Osiris and they have been filled with black soil from the Nile. Seeds that are already sprouting are being placed in the soil. All these are parts of the equipment used for burials by the ancient Egyptians. There is a common relationship between these three things, black colour, Osiris and regeneration, which signifies one of the possible reasons why black goo was being used for burials by the ancient Egyptians. Funerary statues of deities are often painted with black goo, and many of these are in the British Museum. They are recovered from different tombs of kings of the New Kingdom from about 1300 BC. Several statues covered in black goo were also found in the tomb of King Tutankhamun. Shabti boxes that were used to hold images placed in the tombs of the dead were also found to be coated in black goo. All of these made it clear that black goo is a very important spiritual anointing fluid used for several purposes most especially, and the believed regeneration into Osiris. Though many ancient coffins have been covered with the black goo, not all of the discovered coffins were coated with it. This depicts that it is being used for highly socially ranked deaths, many of which are found in the royal burial chambers and tombs of very wealthy people who could afford their price. The use of black goo was more prevalent in the third intermediate period. A deteriorating black substance was found in a tomb in the ancient town of Amara West, which has been in existence since the New Kingdom c. 1100 BC. During the excavations that were conducted by the British Museum and National Corporation for Antiquities and Museums in Sudan, the chemical analysis of this black substance showed its constituents, oil, wax, pistachio resin, and bitumen, were similar to black goo constituents. This happens to be the first black goo found in Nubia and indicates that Egyptian funerary rites are being used in other places far away from the centre power in Egypt. With all of these discoveries found in the ruins of ancient Egypt, it is still evident that there is more to be uncovered about the lifestyle of the ancient Egyptians. The black goo found has changed the perspectives of a lot of people about burial rituals in ancient times. And also, from the discovery, there are lots of changes in the composition of the black goo with time. Thrones used in the earliest ancient times were a bit different in composition from those used in recent ancient times. Investigations continue on how the black goo was being stored, transported, and poured. The smell and how hot it was when they poured it on the prepared coffins are still in consideration too. Let us know what you think of these discovered mummification substances in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed these creepy discoveries found in ancient Egypt, then be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to be updated on our latest videos.